Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking Nature Tuesday. I'm Linda May. We enjoy rich biodiversity here in Georgia with a wide variety of plants and animals that are native or naturally occur here and are adapted to living together. But species that don't normally live here or non-natives have been imported. And some of those plants and animals can push, shove, and crowd out our native species. Therefore, scientists refer to them as invasive exotics. You've probably seen kudzu along the road, completely engulfing trees and covering large stretches of land, smothering plants and rendering the habitat unsuitable for wildlife. This invasive vine was introduced to the U.S. in the late 1800s as an ornamental for forage and to control erosion. All good intentions, but without the checks and balances from its ecosystem of origin, it got way out of hand here. Formerly domesticated and exotic animals can wreak havoc too. For example, feral hogs destroy sensitive habitats by rooting and wallowing. And escaped or released pets such as tegus can become unnatural predators. Our native wildlife have no natural defenses against them. Ground nesting birds, turtles, and small mammals are especially at risk. North American wildlife can become invasive exotics in other parts of the world too. For example, largemouth bass were introduced as a sport fish on every other continent except Antarctica. They're not a problem everywhere, but some countries have reported negative impacts to their native wildlife. Even within our own country, wildlife moved around or released where they don't belong can cause problems. Flathead and blue catfish are prized sport fish in the Midwestern U.S. where they're native. But when they were illegally introduced into the Satilla River in southeast Georgia, they nearly decimated the famous redbreast population there that is such a great part of Georgia's history and culture. So what can each of us do to help restore balance to our ecosystems? First, do a little research before buying plants for your yard, perhaps online or with a field guide or a plant ID app. If you're not careful, you could unintentionally plant non-natives that are known to escape yards and take over nearby habitats. The following exotic plants are considered invasive, so you may not want to buy them and consider removing them if they're already growing in your yard. Autumn olive or thorny olive, also known by the name Eliagnus, bamboo, Bradford pear, Chinese silvergrass or miscanthus, Chinese wisteria, English ivy, leatherleaf mahonia, nandina, periwinkle, and privet. With a little searching, you can find more ecologically valuable options that will provide a similar look and structure in your landscape. For a full list of plants to be wary of, along with recommended alternatives, visit the Georgia Exotic Pest Plant Council's website at gaeppc.org alternatives. Also, be a responsible pet owner. If you own exotic animals, make sure their enclosures are secure. And please don't release unwanted pets into the wild. Rehome them instead, with help from a rescue group if needed. We can all work together to control invasive exotic species and thereby help to restore biodiversity and balance to our ecosystems. To learn more, please visit gainvasives.org. Thanks for helping to keep Georgia wild.